video is going to cover buttons, levers, and switches, and the toggle state and set state, whatever that means. And then we're going to use a uh, button on relays and then a switch on relays. And I'm going to talk about some usages of relays and what they're useful for. Um, and then at the very end, there's this super complicated thing that fixes an issue that I found out in the previous video on power. So let's get started because uh, <laughs> this lab that I have is huge. So everything on the left over here is uh, toggle state and everything on the right is set state. So on toggle state, whenever I'm pressing the button, the light turns on and off. But when I pull the lever or I press the switch, it's in this weird um, state. And then on the set state, when I press the button, the lamp stays on, but it never turns off. And then the lever and the switch acts the way you would expect. And again, this is in the set state. This one is in the toggle state. Okay. So let's talk about relays and all that stuff that I talked about before that's going to come in handy in just a little bit. So this is a relay. The relay has a power in and a power out and all this other stuff. We'll talk about this later. Uh, there's a battery coming in to this relay and then the relay is coming out into the lamp. Note that a relay has a 1000 uh, kilowatt uh, limit to it. That'll be useful later, uh, way later, uh, like when you're building your own submarine. In this relay, uh, it has a state out and the state out is just connected to the state of this lamp. So all this is saying is the relay is on. When this, when this lamp is blue, it means the relay is on. Okay, in this one, the, this button will control this, but it's not connected to the relay. Okay, now I connect this button to the relay's toggle state and uh, the state out is connected to the set state of that lamp. When I toggle the button, the lamps turn off the top left and down here. I'm gonna toggle it again. So it, I think it's because this lamp starts off as off and then this button starts off as off and then the relay starts as on. But let's take a look at this uh, lever case. The lever starts off as off and the lever uh, goes to the set state of the relay, not the toggle state, but the set state. And since the lever state uh, starts as off, it sends the off signal to this relay and then the, the relay's lamp is off. So when we turn it on, this lamp turns on and it takes about nine seconds for this other lamp, the, the one above, to turn on. There seems to be a delay in relays. And there you go, it's on. Now, this one, um, instead of using the power in and power out, we're gonna use a signal in and signal out. So we're gonna turn this on. Nothing happens because this switch isn't uh, turned on. This lever, is, lever isn't turned on. So let's turn on the lever. And it looks like power, or it looks like the signal goes through immediately to the lamp on the other side. So the relay is working as a bridge. And now if I turn the relay off, the, the bridge is uh, severed over here. Now I'm gonna leave this lamp off and I'm gonna turn this relay on and it immediately turns off that lamp on the other side. Now let's take a look at what would happen if we have a button instead. So let me turn this on and then this is set to the signal in and then the signal out. And what's important with this lamp is I set it to the toggle state instead of the set state. Whereas in this lamp is set on the set state. So now I'm gonna to toggle this on and off and then I'm gonna turn I'm gonna sever the bridge and then I'm gonna turn off that button and then I can turn on the bridge and now when I press this button a signal is gonna get sent to the lamp to the left and a signal is gonna get sent to the lamp to the right and what it's gonna do is it's gonna toggle their their states okay now over here signal in signal out uh, signal in one signal out two let's see what happens so when I turn this uh, on nothing happens because this thing is in signal in um, one now let's change it to signal out one and uh, the correct thing happens in this case 
Okay. Now let's take a look at uh, relay usages. This giant lamp over here, let's say, um, draws in phantom energy, where even if it's not exactly turned on, it's still, it's still drawing in energy. So what we can do is this lever is connected to the signal in and the set state. And then the signal out is connected to the lamp. And then the set state of the relay is sent to this other lamp. So when I turn it on, technically, the state on is on this lamp. And now we're just going to wait nine seconds for this battery to run through the relay and actually turn the lamp on. Now when I pull this, this turns off. Um, by the way, this is a special lamp that requires um, energy. This, this lamp uh, also requires energy, but it's always on at all times. I, I just change it in the submarine editor. So this requires energy, and the on and off is controlled by, uh, by this relay. Now, let's take a look at an example with this nuclear reactor. Our goal is whenever you pull this lever, the nuclear reactor gets turned off, battery gets used onto this lamp over here. So this reactor is connected to the junction box. The junction box is connected to these two batteries. The two batteries are connected to a relay, so these are the two batteries going in. The power out is connected back into the junction box and then into the lamp. This uh, lever is connected. These two wires are both connected to the relay. So the lever sends a set state and the signal in of the relay. And then the relay sends a signal out into the shutdown of this reactor. Now, how does this work? Or why did I do it this way? Why didn't I just hook up the switch directly to the reactor? Well, if the switch is turned off as it is now, a constant stream of zeros is going to be sent. This is my theory. Uh, I haven't proven this. A constant stream of zeros is going to be sent out. And then when you turn it on, a constant stream of ones are going to get sent out. And I have a feeling that in this reactor, when you, um, when anything touches the shutdown, a zero or a one, the reactor will shut down. But if a null is sent, and I believe a null will be sent when you sever this connection over here, uh, I'm pretty sure a null is sent in that case. So let's see it in action. We're going to uh, pull this lever. And since it's off, uh, the set state, oh, sorry, since it's on, the set state is on, which means signal is passing through between the signal in and signal out and the shutdown keeps keeps receiving a one constantly so it means even when i try to turn it on it will actually not do anything because a constant stream of shutdown is being sent to this this is good for for going against your ai's where you're where you where you turn the engine off but then your ai just turns it on immediately um but there's a problem here where this 1,000 amp, 1,000 kilowatt uh, lamp is actually drawing 2,000 kilowatts of load. And this is because of some bug that I, I think it's a bug that I mentioned in my previous video. Um, and this is a, sol a solution to it. But before I start that solution, let me, uh, th these are both of them, uh, a copy of both of them. And let me just turn them on for now, just so I can prove a point later. So uh, let's look at uh, my solution to it. I now have a junction box, or I now have two junction boxes. So before the junction box, this left junction box goes into the batteries, but also splits off into this other junction box, and the batteries goes up to, to the second junction box into there. Now, what's different with this is the lever is now connected to a not um, component over here, and this not component um, uh, is uh, sends out the set state of these two um, relay components. And what that would do is, as you can see, I turn them on at close to the same time, but this battery is actually at uh, 80%, whereas this one is at 67. And if you take a look at the power load here is 2000 and the power load here is 1000.